I'm going to create the most the cheapest about lunch time now. I think my stove off. Okay. Anyhow. This is, um, I just got this. I make a sandwich, right? It's a beautiful sandwich. I'm always talking about food. Got my garden here. Uh, this is a, a peace tree and these are uh, mints and other um, herbs and roots and flowers and vegetables. We all know what that is. That's color blue. Other color greens or greens, however you see it. Yeah, cane. And that's um some citrus fruit there. So any at any rate we have a sandwich here prepared out of my um Walmart all. Yeah. So I went to Walmart. Actually I got the bun. I got this a thick bread. This is a new type of bread they, they have at the store. It's a little bit moist and it's thick and it's almost if you ever eat Caribbean bread, it's like um or Haitian bread. But um I know Jamaican hard dough bread. It's more on this. It's thick and moist, but it's it's cooked it's, or baked in this sense, being that it's bread. And I got the banana. I prepared it a couple of hours ago, but so I'm gonna um, do some put some more addition from the garden here. Um, so I got the bread, the banana, and this is uh, if you can see. That's that um paste looking stuff there is um almond butter. It look like almond to me. I think it's almond. It is almond. You can use peanut butter if you want. So it's the most cheapest, healthiest um lunch meal you'll ever have because of the hearty, thick, almost Texas like size bread. And one large banana and maybe an ounce or two of um, almond butter. So we got our carbohydrate and uh, protein. It's white bread, not as healthy as maybe the multigrain in the same variety. But I'm gonna boost it up here for my garden with some. Uh, I don't remember the exact name of this leaf, this um, mint here. It smell. It smell minty. It smells minty. Um, but I eat it as a vegetable. I've been eating it uh, for some quite some time now. I haven't affected me. So I um I made this tea. The back of this one is a little dirty, so I'm wash this off and use this for maybe tea or something like that. Or make a drinks or garnish for my meal later on. I'll flip it over and check. This one looks decent. Consumable. It has a tumbleweed on it, so I'll pick that off, drop it. Alright, in my clean, fresh gray pants. So I'll just knock it off. Get off the excess micro bug that might be hiding beneath the, uh, the stems. Uh, uh, so I'll knock it off, and I'll put it down like that. And I'll get maybe two or three more nice clean ones from the top. The canopy from the canopy. The canopies, obviously, they are a little bit cleaner because they are the rain when it rains or when I water the garden, it doesn't splash the uh, the dust and the dirt up. And so, so this is a you know country outdoor living type of deal here, and it's not exactly quite outdoor. Uh, but it's it's close enough because I had to preserve the bread stuff like that to maintain the cleanness and I just use my shopping bag and you can walk anywhere around your neighborhood and find some color greens but I got some here so right off my doorstep I'll pick this one this one look nice and it's shining you know it's healthy Plenty of iron and it has some um, antioxidant, vitamin E, because it's shiny, right? and it's healthy enough. Do a little splashy on my clean pants, 
and I'll just slap it on here and I'll walk around the garden and look for the big leaves all right it's a little bit more convenient here's another big leaf high in the canopy we'll get those we'll get this one knock it off if there's any dirt or any you know if there's a little block spot like this right here that might be a little bug passed by last night and do a number two there caused me to do a bigger number two but at any rate I don't think it I'll be doing that because I am um, not quite used to them and they're a little bugs so when I pick it I pick it at the top of the leaf not further down to the the branch but at the top so I don't get any vine or a little vine in there and I'll knock it off I'm gonna get try to get four leaves four big leaves big leaf big leaf over on this other side here it's a real mint here this mint is beautiful All right, the bug you see the in, in, add it but they're still good they get some I'll get some but this is what I'm talking about this here is a bug duty uh, this one right here too and this is a little bug that's growing right here you can't see it but I know it moves right <laughs> so been at it some time now so I kind of gained some experience enough to Put it on here in my my Walmart bag wrapper. You can get the Caribbean store. The Caribbean store isn't too far from where you live at, right? <laughs> so I'll bite into it and get a good taste out of it. Huh? Turn up the Then you have to do too much. The day you have it, lunch. And drink some water. My outdoor slippers, they dry. I wash the bottom off. And that's my cousin there. That's my cousin, my nephew. And his father. See a bunch of old elk freak around here. He got turmeric there, he's eating it raw. That thing must be hot. Is it zesty? It's like pumpkin. Really? Mm hmm. Hmm. What you did that in there? That's like put the uh, they got yam, Jamaican yellow yam in there. You got sweet potato, cornmeal, carrots, yeah. meringue. Oh, never <laughs> cooked yeah. cheese. Yeah. Sugar cane. Yeah, sugar cane in it. When you go to college and start work and start studying and stay up one o'clock, two o'clock and that's not to play a game or go on the internet or Facebook. Uh, make sure you did thing right. Put my piece there, I had a piece there. Uh, so you say you're not going to stay up. Why do you think you're not going to stay up? I'm not going to stay up. What college are you going to? Where is that at? Fort Myers. Fort Myers? Yeah. Okay. So then come up there and come look for your Fort Myers. Yeah. When you plan on going up there? I have orientation. How are you getting up there? Oh, look, we can get an Uber out right here. Uber bus, a shuttle, an Uber car, a truck. We'll get him over there so he can go to bust his brain some more. That's a good thing. All right. I guess he's taking off now. All right, man. Take care, bro.